John Leon Jerome was a French painter and sculptor in the style now known as academicism. His paintings were so widely reproduced that he was arguably the world's most famous living artist by 1880. The range of his oeuvre included historical painting, Greek mythology, Orientalism, portraits, and other subjects, bringing the academic painting tradition to an artistic climax. Jerome's journey into the arts began under the guidance of Paul Delaroche, whom he accompanied to Italy, immersing himself in the study of Renaissance masterpieces and the ruins of antiquity. This early exposure deeply influenced his artistic direction, laying the groundwork for his later works. Jerome is renowned for his contributions to the Orientalist genre capturing the imagination of European audiences with his vivid depictions of the Near East. Orientalism, as an artistic movement, sought to recreate aspects of Eastern cultures as seen through the lens of European sensibilities, often blending fascination with fantasy, and in Jerome's case, a meticulous attention to detail with a penchant for the dramatic. In 1856, Jerome embarked on what could be considered a transformative journey for any Orientalist painter, the classic grand tour of the Near East. This odyssey took him from Egypt to Jerusalem and finally Damascus, mirroring the itineraries of many European artists and writers of the time. This expedition served as a rich wellspring for Jerome's future works, providing a wealth of visual and cultural material that would inform his paintings. Among Jerome's legacy is an exquisite collection of plein air oil sketches, such as the encampment near Constantinople, which showcases his ability to capture the ambient light and atmosphere of the locales he visited. His forays into the field allowed him to document the landscapes and people with a fresh perspective, albeit still refracted through a Western gaze. One of the aspects of Jerome's Orientalism that has attracted attention is his incorporation of exotic settings alongside elements that some may interpret as sensual. Works such as the slave market and the large pool of Bursa showcase detailed Middle Eastern architectural designs alongside figures that are often idealized. These figures, frequently female, were created within the confines of his Paris studio, a significant distance from the actual cultures of the East. This blend of meticulous architectural detail with creative interpretation has been discussed in terms of how it represents the cultures depicted, with some viewing it as a form of cultural appreciation, while others have raised questions about potential cultural misrepresentation. Jerome was known for his collection of artefacts and costumes, which he used to stage oriental scenes with an air of authenticity in his studio. These props, coupled with his field studies, lent to authenticity to his works that was rare for the time. His autobiographical reflections reveal a man with a relentless commitment to capturing the essence of the Orient, despite the constraints of travel and time. He famously stated his preference for three touches of colour on a piece of canvas over the most vivid memory. One must put into his work an artistic probity and, above all, work, work. This painting masterfully juxtaposes the serenity of a female figure 
against the intense focus of males engaged in a cockfight, set against a classical Greek backdrop. The composition, marked by clear, distinct lines, combines the stability of straight, angular architecture with the dynamic movement of curved human figures, embodying neoclassical clarity. Jerome's warm palette contrasts rich browns and reds with cool blues, creating a harmonious balance and highlighting the painting's vitality. The artist balances organic and geometric forms, emphasizing the tactility of subjects through smooth textures and detailed rendering of feathers and skin. Depth is achieved through perspective and the layering of figures against the expansive landscape guiding the viewer's gaze from the tense foreground to the tranquil sea and horizon beyond. The painting vividly captures a gladiatorial contest in the Colosseum. Emphasizing the contrast between the grandeur of the arena and the grim fate of the gladiators. The painting's composition, utilizing strong vertical and diagonal lines, guides the viewer's attention through the scene with the subdued color palette highlighting the central action. The contrast between the geometric architecture and the organic human forms, along with varied textures and a masterful creation of space adds depth and realism. In The Death of Caesar, Jerome crafts a scene teeming with dynamic energy and dramatic contrast to depict the aftermath of Caesar's assassination. The painting is visually split into two parts, Caesar's lifeless body on one side and the animated, almost celebratory departure of the conspirators on the other. Jerome's use of formal elements like stark line divisions, contrasting colours, and the interplay of light and shadow emphasises the drama and gravity of the event. The architectural solidity and the fluid motion of the figures juxtapose the transient nature of human actions against the backdrop of the eternal Roman Empire. The composition with a central void that draws the eye towards the conspirators and the selective lighting underscore the painting's dramatic tension and thematic depth. Jerome focuses not on the act of assassination itself, but on its immediate, charged aftermath. The painting captures the moment after Ni has been executed, with his body lying face down in the muddy street, creating a stark contrast to the departing firing squad. Jerome employs a muted, almost monochromatic colour scheme to underscore the bleakness of the scene, while the realistic portrayal of Ni's crumpled form against the blurred soldiers highlights the brutality and impersonality of the act. The composition, emphasising Ni's isolated figure through converging lines and a contrast between the detailed foreground and the indistinct background, draws the viewer's attention to the tragedy of Ni's fate. The sombre lighting and the shadows cast further depth and melancholy over the scene. Compared to contemporaneous movement, Jerome's work maintains traditional techniques while introducing a modern dramatic and psychological depth. This painting presents an Orientalist vision, rich in intricate details and vibrant colours, encapsulating the Western fascination with the East during the 19th century. The painting features a young boy holding a python, set against a backdrop of an elaborately tiled wall 
and an audience of men dressed in traditional Arabic attire. Jerome's use of curvilinear forms, contrasting colours and varied textures brings depth and a tactile sense to the scene. The composition, with its diagonal lines and semicircular arrangement of figures, draws the viewer into the intimate performance space. The painting presents a compelling visual narrative depicting truth as a personified figure emerging dramatically from a well. The stark contrasts in colour, texture and the dynamic pose of the central figure against the subdued background emphasise the theme of revelation and the dramatic unveiling of truth. The painting skillfully combines the realistic detail characteristic of Jerome's style with a profound allegorical message. The composition is both balanced and dynamic, drawing the viewer's eye through the use of strategic lighting and the placement of the figure, who seems to bridge the gap between the hidden and the known. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Your support helps me continue creating more content like this. Thank you.